Police Academy located on the FSCJ North Campus. Recruit Cephas was 43 years old and is survived by a wife and two children. Our full support and prayers are with them at this most difficult time. Cephas and his class of police recruits started at the academy 10 days ago on March the 18th. They had been exercising as a class today for a little over 15 minutes when they were given a water break. During that break, an instructor noticed that recruit Cephas looked to be in discomfort. And after checking with Cephas, the instructor called over paramedics who were staged at the academy for the training session. After examining Cephas, the paramedics determined that he should be transported to the hospital. His condition deteriorated as he was transported to Baptist North, where he ultimately passed away despite life-saving efforts by medical personnel. Recruit Cephas had a military history and had done well in his physical training since starting at the academy. At this point, his death appears to be the result of some type of medical episode. We do have homicide detectives investigating the scene and interviewing everyone present during the training today to determine what happened, but there are no signs pointing toward anything other than a medical emergency at this point in time. Homicide detectives go out anytime there's an undetermined death without an unknown cause to do a full investigation, and we certainly owe that to recruit Cephas and his family. Um, but like I said, at this point in time, nothing seems to point towards anything but a medical emergency. The detectives will also coordinate with the medical examiner's office where an autopsy will be conducted to determine the cause of death. In addition, we have an advocate working with his family and critical incident stress management counselors working with the rest of the class and instructors to help them through this difficult time. We would appreciate prayers for recruit Cephas and his family from anyone who feels moved to say a prayer tonight. That's all the information I have at this point of the investigation, but I'll be happy to answer whatever clarifying questions I can for you that you might have. Director, we are told that he was in the middle of a fairly intensive uh, exercise session or, or fitness session at that time uh, or prior to that break. Can you confirm that? Sort of like a drill sergeant, uh, somebody actually phrased it to us as a make or break. Um, well, yeah, I, I can't really comment to the make or break nature of it, but you know, police work, much like military work, requires physical ability. And part of that training as you go through the academy is physical training, something that every police officer has been through and has to go through and helps to kind of sharpen them to be ready to do what they need to do on the street. So they were engaged in that. They'd been doing that for a little over 15 minutes. Um, and all that stuff is, is done with safety in mind. You know, a water break was given. As I mentioned earlier, they had paramedics on scene just in case there's any medical episodes. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, sometimes even with help being staged there, um, some medical episodes, there's just no recovery from even with, with help being there for you. So, you know, they were engaged in physical training. It's part of, unfortunately, what we have to do to prepare recruits to come out and do what they need to do on the street. And uh, it's uh, just a very sad occurrence this evening. It's Cephas, C-E-P-H-A-S. You're hearing JSO talk about a very sad event. A recruit, recruit Cephas at the Police Academy, FSCJ in Northwest Jacksonville, had some sort of medical episode and has passed away. Police telling us that homicide and detectives are investigating, but again, they believe no foul play and that this was just a tragedy, some type of medical episode. We'll continue to follow this. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back.